Hi guys, my name is Robert Feranek, I'm from Fendevel Academy and in this video we are going to speak about length matching and length tuning in Altium Designer. It's very simple to set up, it's easy to use and it can speed up your layout process. Let's say you have a bus or you have a group of signals and all the signals in this bus, in this group they need to have exactly same length or they need to have very similar length. As an example, I will use this uh, data bank form group and I will order the signals by length. You can see most of the signals, they are already length match. They have 33 millimeters. These two signals, they need to be adjusted. They have only 27 and 26. First, what we are going to do, we are going to set up a rule. This rule will specify the maximum difference between the shortest and the longest signal in this group. Design rules, high speed match net length, right click, new rule double click, name the rule and select the group, select the net class of the signals which uh, you would like to length match. In our case it is bank 4. This is the difference between the shortest and the longest signal in this group. 10 mils for memory group. Leave this one checked, that's the important one. Press OK and I will cancel this. This yellow color, that's what I really like. I found it very, very useful. Yellow color means these signals are out of tolerance. So you don't have to manually calculate 33 minus 27 is the difference in the tolerance you would like to have. Altium calculates this and it shows yellow color or white color. Yellow means we need to adjust these signals. So let's do it. Tools, interactive length tuning. That's the magic button. Ta-da! Have a look. There is a green bar close to the cursor. Green bar means the signal, the length of the signal is in tolerance. Now, if you have a look on the PCB panel, you can see the yellow color disappeared from the signal. If I move the cursor, see, now the bar is red. It means the length is out of the tolerance and the signal has again the yellow color. Now it's green. If you would like to change parameters of this wave, press tab. And normally what I do, I set up this increment. I use the grid size, 0 0.1 millimeter. Space between the waves. Ideally, you would like to use five times drag width. If there is no space, you can use three times drag width, but that's the minimum. I would like to show you something, so I will use three times drag width. And sometimes when you start uh, drawing, or when you try to use this uh, length tuning uh, feature, no waves are drawn. It, uh, what you can try is uh, press tab and have a look on this max up amplitude Sometimes there is very, very high number. In that case, Altium will not draw the waves. Then just change it to something small, right? 10 millimeters. It will start drawing the waves again. Press OK. If you would like to adjust the edges, you can use one. Can you see? It's now sharper. Or press number two. 
and now just press click when you finish just click it will take some practice because it really depends where you click now I click here under this track and it draws this shape around the waves you can easily adjust the shape of these waves you can move this for example and you can make them smaller okay and we can move it also like here and adjust the length as I said you need to practice a little bit because it really depends where you click and how you move it sometimes it doesn't work exactly the way as you would expect once you are happy just right click union explode and these are now just standard tracks we can also language this one tools interactive length tuning see now the shape is very weird so it can be quite uh, difficult to change shape of these waves I will explode okay all the signals within this memory bank 4 group are now in the tolerance of 10 mils see 33 millimeters very easy to set up very easy to use I hope you found this video useful uh, don't forget to check out our other videos on Fedevel Academy channel thank you very much for watching and see you soon